There we go. Oof. Are we doing this? Um, too late now. Too late. want to change the look and protect the lens. You got the cover right here. Ooh. What do you think? Sick. Welcome back to another video guys. We're here at the Tour Custom Cycle Shop. We're gonna finally put the first mod on the bike. Uh, we're gonna do the Baja setup. So we got the LP6 here, and we got the S1s. Um, we got it in white, but I went ahead and got the amber cover, the rock cover, so you can put that on, clip it off, so whenever I want two looks, I can have that. So I got the whole setup from Cali Ray's Moto. We're gonna be doing the whole cutout on the fairing. So for those of you guys who want the look and you want the light just popping out of the fairing, you want a nice clean look, you want it nice and resets inside, that's what we got this cutout from Cali Ray's Moto. Um, it should be nice, easy, and clean. What, what do you think? I think it's gonna be good. They gave us a nice template to use, so we're gonna see how that all winds up and uh, take it from there. Yeah. Awesome. So we're gonna do the S1s. The S1s are in amber as the turn signals and then the LP6 um, for the headlight. Let's get on with it. We're gonna start with the uh, S1s first. First steps, what? We're gonna be disconnecting the turn signals from here? Yes. Yeah, so well, first of all, disconnect the wire in. Right here, press the button, pull it apart. T40 Torx, back here behind. Scale one through 10, how hard do you think this whole install could be for someone doing it at home in, in their the garage? Um, it should be pretty simple. I just need to look at the harness that they've provided because I haven't looked at it yet. But for like the average person doing average that person, as long as the as long as the harness is plug and play, then it's gonna be simple. Sweet. Let's take a look at it. So it looks like the harness that they gave us, these two plugs is gonna plug into your factory uh, harness for both blinkers. Um, <clears throat> the other side though, they just gave you bare wires for each side. And what they've included in the kit with those bare wires is uh, these uh, butt connectors with the solder in the middle. Nice. So essentially what you would do is you would strip off both ends twi you know, twist them, get them twisted together, get them inside the butt connector and you'd heat it up and the solder would melt into the wire. What we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna mount the uh, the light into into the mount off the bike because it just might be a little tight accessing the inside screw. The only thing we do have to do also is we're going to have to flip the screen on the front because then uh, your, your Baja is upside down. Yeah. Uh, they provide uh, mounting screws for the mount to the bike and then mounting screws for the light to the mount. So the stock bolt you're not going to use, um, they provide a shorter bolt for uh, the same place where you're going to be screwing the original bolt at. So we're already locked head to this, we're going to go ahead and put it on that side as well. Alright, so this is the harness that comes with the S1s. This plug will tie into the main harness once we install that. Uh, what I did was I took their uh, turn signal hookups and zip tied them to the factory wiring. Harley has it here. I popped that off and we're going to plug that directly into the Cali Race harness. And then this here, we are going to now splice into the main harness so i'll show you that in a minute once well, i you, uh, once i strip these back okay because technically with these you don't have to do you have to splice them well or just I'm, solder them i'm going to use their they have the soldering splice connectors that it comes with so i'm going to use those to put them together i'm just going to trim it back a little bit make it a little neater nice plan okay okay 
All right, so we're gonna use the uh, supplied connectors from Kelly Race Moto. I like to uh, slide them all the way down. Once again, slid all the way down. Um, I actually, I actually put them together like this because this is how I would normally join wires together when I'm going to be uh, soldering. So you get your solder right on top of the splice there. Grab your heat gun. You gotta get a lot of heat on these things to actually melt the solder too. So I usually, uh, I'll heat from the center out to shrink it and then I'll just keep rotating around. You'll eventually see the solder start to melt and coat all the wires. It'll, it'll go all over the uh, all over the copper. See that the solder has melted in and it's it's made a, a tight joint there. Nice. Up with some Tessa tape to make it look good. Little clip is yours, right? Yeah, these clips don't come with it. Uh, 3M makes them in all different flavors, uh, so. All it is is a clip to hold the wire, and then it has a little piece of double stick on it, so we can stick it right in there, just to hold the wire out of the way. Nice, nice and, and clean. Yeah, and then, um, and then I'll probably and then I'll leave a little bit of slack to get it in the fairing, and push some of this in. Then I'm gonna zip tie these two wires together. Clip the ends. That's it. Easy peasy. And just in case if you guys were wondering, um, in case you don't want to use the amber turn signals, you can also get the lenses in a, in a clear color as well. They actually, they actually sell clear as one too. Yeah. All right, so that's gonna be the main harness. It's gonna go all the, the way harness. down to the battery. Yep. So we're gonna bring this back in here. Soft tails have a plug on the side of the frame on this side. So we're gonna pop this. Uh, we're gonna pop the plug out. Snake the wire down the backbone and get it to come out the back. So we ran the Cali Race harness down the backbone out to the battery side. So simply uh, for the hookup, you just take your stock headlight wire and plug it into their harness. This is the wire we ran for the blinkers and this is the uh, off of their harness also. That's what powers the blinkers. And then we're gonna clean all this wiring up. We're gonna tuck it away, but then this goes into the new LP6 and that's it, you're done. So we're gonna mount the Cali Grays Moto plate on here. Um, it's actually a pretty nice mount. It goes right in here, slide up, mount into those factory holes. And then you're gonna take the stock bolts out and they give you a nice uh, spacer and a new bolt to go right back in there. Okay. Now, because I, I know you, you were happy right now because you were like really happy about the Cali Ray stuff. Yeah, actually, everything that they make is pretty much bolt up. They really put, they really put a lot of effort into their design and I've, I've really never had an issue with anything that they've done. They make really nice stuff. So we come to the part of the video where I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna take my head off for this right now. And what, what are the comments gonna be? The comments are gonna be, why are you cutting a limited production bike? Why are you cutting a fairing on a limited production bike that's numbered, that's really not numbered? <laughs> why would you do this? Such a beautiful paint job, which you're never gonna see anyways. Why are you cutting something that you're never ever gonna see because the light's gonna be in the way? I can't wait to respond back to all these comments with some great new knowledge that I have. Anyway, so what's uh, what's Cali Ray's got for us? We okay. got a plate. We got a template here. 
We're going to line this template up into the holes. We're going to trace around it, mm -hmm. and then we're going to cut the hole. Yeah. Then we're going to put blue tape, obviously, just uh, as a little protection. Yeah. And I mean, the, the blue tape is where I'm going to be able to see my marker. So perfect. Let's do it. Viewers are going to yell at you. I just want to get it out there before they uh, even start opening up their mouths, you know? <laughs> like Eminem in 8 Mile. <laughs> said, I know I live in a trailer park with my mom. <laughs> I do live in a trailer with my mom. Que lo que, papi? All right, so just to let you know, so for those of you who don't want to drill around your fairing, they do have a secondary option where you don't have to do that. The only thing with that is that the light's gonna be just kind of gaping out of the fairing. I just don't like that look. It doesn't look too clean. Um, this is gonna be more wedged in. Everything's gonna look nice and clean. I can't lie, that this, this might hurt me a little though. <laughs> it is gonna bother me a little. Like, oh my God, no. We doing this? Um, uh, we're already here. Too late now. I can't believe we're cutting this fairing. Do I keep this? I'll keep it as a souvenir. <laughs> What I'm doing also is I'm cutting on the <clears throat> inside of the line, just so, just uh -huh. in case. It may not be big enough when we go to put it on, but I'd rather be safe. Okay. This is a one-stop shop, man. Whatever you're gonna wanna get in here, or whatever issues occur or come up, this guy right here always finds a solution for it. I'm gonna do a little clean up in there. Let's just see how the light fits. You may not see it, you know, depending on how. how the light fits. So you're so you're not gonna see it, and that that's that's Possibly. the thing with, with this cutout is that the light is gonna be blocking everything. So whatever is cut, you're not gonna see whatsoever. We're gonna clean some of this up anyway. I'm gonna smooth the edges a little bit. Sweet. But I want to uh, put the light on the bike and see how yep. much we gotta smooth first. You may need to adjust it, you know. A little tight. Probably gonna want to trim it a little. Yeah. Yeah, because it won't go on freely. It looks fucking good though, huh? It does, right? Shit looks good. Really good. So you see, you, you guys see the difference is how that's all snug in there. Otherwise, the light would have come up all the way out here. It's gonna be a little more once we get it fitted. I wanna see where it's rubbing. Nice and tight. How about right here? Yeah. Maybe, yeah, I'm gonna go like, I'm just gonna do the sides here where the bracket is. That's where it's hitting. That I'm gonna good. leave the top and bottom alone. That was good. I'm happy I went with the white. Yeah. Now I just put the white, uh, the yellow cover on it. So this is my favorite part. So I obviously I went with the with the white LP6 because I just I wanted to have that clean look. But whenever I want to change the look and protect the lens, you got the cover right here. Boom. And now it's amber. So this shield right here protects the whole LP6 from any rock chips or anything like that. Um, but then for those of you guys who have white lights and you want to change it up a little bit. 
That's the uh, that's your option right there. Super cheap option. I just had to take this off so that I can get to the positive terminal of the battery and to hook up the power for the uh, headlight. So in the Cali Race package, are now including uh, a different type of fuse holder. They've put a instruction sheet in here for you. Uh, it's actually better than the other one. So the other one you'd have to kind of cut, solder, splice, put it together. But now they've got a different style fuse holder and the old connected already is the lead for the fuse. So all you have to do is remove this blue plastic, slide this pin in, and then pop it back on and now you've got a fully connected wire to go down to your battery. Sweet. So is it it's easier and cleaner now or? Yeah, yeah, I mean, well, it's easier. Uh, the other ones, like the ones I've done in the past, I've had to uh, break out the soldering iron and solder it. All right, so you're going to remove the blue plastic. You're gonna take the new terminal, slide it up in here. Click, it's got uh, protection in there from the elements. Uh, this one just bound up a little bit. I'm just gonna push it up there. Okay. We're gonna take this and slide this back over. And that's it. Now we're ready to go down, hook up to the battery. And then the last thing we'll do after that is we'll put our fuse in and we'll put the top back on. This is all waterproof. Nice. Here we go. Oof. What do you think? Sick. Sick. And, and it has an amber, uh, amber backlight back in it, yeah. So you got your, let's try your S1s out. Ooh. That was good, man. Fuse in. We're hooked up. Fuse in. I got that Waterproof okay. cover. Okay. And we're going to tuck it away. Before and, uh, I move, I we're done, right? And that's it. I'm just gonna find a place to tuck this away. Uh, and that's good. That's it. We're done. So, fuse in. We're hooked up. Fuse in. I got that one. Waterproof cover. Just go slow. Keep going. Department of Gonna get you guys a little vlog, man. What you, uh, what you guys coming out of today? Uh, Suffolk County. Suffolk County. Nassau County. Nassau County. Oh yeah. Strong Island, America. Strong Island, Strong and Staten Italy, baby. Staten Island, baby. <laughs> so from everywhere. These guys came out here today to get the bike service over at Tour Custom Cycle Shop, all the way from Long Island and Staten Island to Jersey. Yep. Why? Uh, one uh, K, one K uh, tune up. The one K mile. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how come you guys didn't go anywhere else in, in Long Island, man? <laughs> come on out to Jersey. Good over there. <laughs> I guess, I guess we're good. Yeah, yeah nobody right. trustworthy, you know? We need that trust. Nice. And, you know, and watching Marvel, Marvel videos with you, nice. you're just like a ta you know, tag team, and we're all working together. Sick, man. Just a, just nice. a family, you know? It's not like a business, it's just a place to go, you know? You guys right. are always welcome. Say like cheers. Yeah. Come and hang you out. Come here where yeah. everybody knows your name. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Appreciate you. Appreciate All right, so that was the install for you guys at home. So for anybody at home who is trying to install this at home, order the kit, this is what you can uh, do for yourself. Um, what do you think? Um, like always, I think the kit was really easy to install. Cali Ray's Moto, like I said before, does a really great job of designing their brackets to fit. Everything's bulked Brackets up. Clean, yeah, yeah like everything's that. clean. Everything's Easy. bolt up. I, I, I use them all the time. Right, um, right. And really, I know it was nerve wracking, but cutting the fairing really wasn't that bad. <laughs> I, I, I can't wait to read the comments, man. I did feel it a lot easier, though, to mount that template to the backside, trace it, and cut it because I was able to use a jigsaw yeah. and pretty much run that jigsaw all the way around. You can't get the jigsaw into the front because the of front how deep the cavity is for the yeah. headlight. I mean, that, that's, that's just one way to do it. So you guys could uh, keep that in mind. Um, besides that, I mean, the lights are great. Uh, I had the Baja set up on my road glide. Super happy that I got them on my uh, low rider S now. They look sick. Um, I like the option that I kept with the white 
pod as well with the white LP6. And I can have the yellow cover now anytime I want to switch around the look. Um, the S1s work great as the turn signals, real easy. I thought it was gonna be a little harder to install, but that was pretty easy. Yeah. No, um, yeah. Another great mount. I mean, that mount bolted right up. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, if you don't want to cut your fairing, they do sell the the bracket where you don't have to cut your fairing. The light's just gonna be popping a little more more out, but it's totally up to you. I don't mind cutting the fairing. I mean, at first I was like, oh my god, no, but. They also sell a uh, they sell an LP4 kit, which is yeah. a direct bolt up, a lot smaller light. We've done it before. Um, the Turbo El Diablo that yeah. we built, I did an LP4 on that one, and that just bolted up, no cut. Yeah. So if you want to go the LP4 route as well, I like the LP6. Um, that's gonna be it, guys. If you are local, you want to get some work done to your bike, New York, New Jersey area, stop by Tor Custom Cycles. If you want to order some of this Cali Rays mount stuff, and we'll be linking the link down below. You guys can check all that stuff out. Order your Baja lights from there, your Cali Rays bracket, everything else. And we're also we are, we're a Cali Rays Moto dealer, so if you need anything Cali Rays Moto, LP6, Baja, anything you want. There you uh, go. Give it, hit us up also. One stop shop. Get it all done. I'm gonna have Mike do it for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this was a great help for you. Uh, if you're interested in doing this, look at the video. And yeah, it, I'm happy. I'm super happy with it. And that's gonna be it. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. Can we do our job over here now? No. Yeah, go ahead. I really need to get this light. Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, Bob. Wait, no. <laughs> He's such a dick. He's such a dick. We're gonna do that again. Stop getting. I'm <laughs> Welcome back to another video, guys. We're here at Tor Custom Cycles Shop. <laughs> He's kind of a bitch. Dude, I really do have to get this headlight installed today.